guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hello. Hello, hello. And to my left, of course, you recognize this girl, Christina Grimmy. Hello. YouTube sensation. <laughs> Seriously, I almost think fifty-third most viewed to date of all time, or something. Possibly. Most subscribed, Subscribe, yeah, and close to seven hundred thousand subscribers. I'm doing an approximation there. Yeah, um, I mean, what's that like to hear those numbers? It's it's shocking considering I've I've never I didn't go on YouTube for that. I went on YouTube just to see what would happen, and then suddenly things blew happened. up. And what was yes. what was your very first video? My very first video was Don't Want to Be Torn by Hannah Montana because it, it was kind of new and I heard it for the first time on an episode of Hannah Montana and I was like, I wonder how many people know this and are going to look it up. So I decided to do it and that one got, you know, more views than I thought it would. And then I put Party in the USA up a couple days later and then that's when everything just, like I was kind of put on the map, I guess, after that one. Wow, oh my gosh. very early on yeah. in your YouTube career. Yeah. Amazing. So, so you said you went on YouTube not expecting anything to happen, but as it did start to happen, I mean, did you realize, wow, this is what I want to do? Or did you already know? Oh, I knew. That you wanted to be a singer I at knew. that point? I knew since I was like four, I, I wow. knew I wanted to <laughs> sing. Um, I didn't know, however, that I wanted to play piano. Um, I, I always messed around with the piano when I was little. And I, I just, I never really thought of myself being a piano player and singing. But now that YouTube is really like taken off for me, I've been very much piano, writing with the piano and everything. So the piano is like my best friend. So I do oh everything gosh. with piano. And then back to the YouTube success, the initial success. Um, when did you kind of realize, okay, this is becoming something? I mean, did people like contact you and? start like wanting to work with you or how does that all work? Well, at first you don't know who's contacting you. You have no idea. And some people are just very unprofessional when they message you and they're like, yo, my name is Brad and I want to <laughs> manage you. Give me a call. And they like misspell everything. And oh like, yeah. Um, no, I won't be calling you. But <laughs> some people, you know, they, I gave them my parents' number. And Smart. I'd be like, yeah, just just give my dad a call or something, and they would never call. So it's like, I don't really think that's the real deal. Um, my manager, who is Brian Tifi, who is Selena Gomez's stepdad. Um, nice connection there. He, yeah, of course, love it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He contacted my brother um, because my brother has a channel that's not incredibly popular, and so Brian figured, hey, if I message her brother, maybe he'll end up seeing the message considering he has way less subscribers. Uh -huh. And my brother texted me one day during school, and he was like, I think Selena Gomez's dad is trying to contact us. Brian and I was like, like, what? I was in math class, I was like, what? what's going on? <laughs> but apparently it was true, and wow. that's how everything started. So. so how would you say life has changed since you posted that first Hannah Montana video? Traveling. I've never been on a plane before this past really? summer, so that was exciting. Um, I, I don't mind flying, really. I just because the longest flight I've ever been on was like six hours. But it's definitely the traveling for me, and the interviews are even new. But um, I, I'm I'd like to think that I'm adapting fast to it. So, but it's been it's been hectic, but it's, it's been fun. What would you say is like a really big highlight since? You know, you got a manager and, you know, took your first flight. That's so amazing. What's like a really big highlight? Someone maybe you met or heard from that liked your music or something? Highlights have just been, well, I met with a producer um, yesterday and past producers that I've worked with just are telling me, just really encouraging me that, you know, you're in the right place and, and stuff like that. And just the highlight for me is knowing that this is what I want to do and everybody's really been encouraging me to do what I want to do and that would be singing so there's been a lot of highlights one was definitely the UNICEF concert that I did I opened for Selena mm -hmm. and um, it was an acoustic set so it was me the piano and I had two band members of hers play with me and just the feeling is amazing just performing live 
it's like the greatest thing ever considering I've always wanted to do it. Yeah. So. And all the dreams are coming true. Yes. That's so awesome. Oh, yes. Now when you make your videos, would you say you treat it like a live performance or do you, do you actually like record it a couple times and think, oh, I, this is the best one. How do we use this one? How does it work? It's very... I'm a perfectionist, a huge perfectionist. And that makes it hard. It's very hard. That's why, I don't know if you saw any of my bloopers, but I have <laughs> a quote unquote series that I call Stuff You Don't See. And oh my gosh, there's just so many. I They're about like two minutes or three minutes long of videos. They could be like 10 minutes long. <laughs> there are you are so brave many. to post those. <laughs> they're so, I mean, it's not even funny to me. It's just like embarrassing, but it's, <laughs> It's, uh, I think people need to see it, you know? Like, yeah. I'm not perfect. I don't get that in one take. I get it in like 15 takes. I love so, that. So it's, making videos is, you you have to love what you do. Let's just put it that way. So it's fun for me. I Every time I'm about to make a video, I'm like, all right, I'm prepared for the best and the worst right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Whatever's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, so you said you talked to producers yesterday. Are you working on original music? We would um, love some. I, I write, I've been writing since I was like four, um, that I've we've chosen to not put any of my originals out there. Um, we're waiting till I get a record label, and then it would be promoted properly. And I just that's a little bit of the path that we're trying to take right now. I would love to make an album. That would, that's my my dream is to put an album out there and tour and mm -hmm. stuff. But until I get a record label and get things going, then I would put out my original stuff. All right, so if you made an album today, what would you want the vibe and overall feel to be like? Um, I definitely want my album to be something that people can just pick up and want to listen to right away, no matter what kind of emotion they're feeling. But I, I want it to be fun, but I also want to take it a little deeper because I write deep lyrics. Not insanely deep, you know, where you have to think of a million meanings for it, but you know, deep enough so that it's meaningful to whoever's listening to it. So it's not always like, yeah, I'm gonna go party and hang out with this person. Is, you know, I want to have a couple songs that are like, go have fun, do this. But I, I'm very much a deep person, and I, I want my lyrics to be deep and meaningful too. Stuff that people can really relate to and connect with. Yeah, I love that. What about any like dance-worthy tracks? Do you think you'll ever be on stage doing any choreography? Let's just say I'm not a dancer, but I mean, <laughs> uh, I would hire some backup dancers because nice. I will spare your eyes from watching me dance. It's so bad. Like, I dance in, in my mirror in my room at night sometimes. Like, I pretend I put on concerts. I'm kind of a weirdo, but I, I no, pretend that's great. that I'm I good about that. You're so prepared. <laughs> I pretend that I do concerts and I'm all, I'm all like working in my mirror, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, guys, get up and dance. And I'm like, you guys can dance. I'm not. So I'm just so bad at it. But that's how oh, that's how it. a typical day for me goes. I usually I'm, I'm in my room like three hours at night just pretending to. Play. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! I think so we've all done that that's to okay. some extent. Yeah. But okay. one last thing I want to ask: um, since you've had so much success on YouTube, what is the secret to getting people to watch your videos. I think being unique and original is what you need to do. Um, for my videos, I, I honestly, I can tell you right now, I don't know how it happened because I have one camera that I've used since my first video, still using it today. Love it. And one one angle and not the best poster, quality. I right say, here. hey guys, yeah. I'm gonna be singing <laughs> blah, 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 every time. And to me, it's like, I guess people like that it, obviously, because it's it's working, so I guess you know that's clicking with some people, and I guess it's just something that they like. So, I, but definitely, you, you have to be yourself. If you try to be anybody else, they're gonna be like, oh, she's a wannabe this person, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. And to me, I think that if you you want to put your stuff on the internet, it could be YouTube, anything, then you should. But you really need to make sure that you're yourself, and you can take those hater comments. Because if, if you don't, you, you're gonna go down the drain because I let it get to me a while ago. And I just stopped, I was like, this is a waste of my time. Why let it get to me? Because I love to do what I love to do. And mm -hmm. I, you know. And was, obviously you have so many fans and supporters, you just gotta focus on those, I think. Yeah, I mean, the people that like your stuff, that's what you should be focusing on. 
if people don't like your stuff, they're not your kind of people. Like, why bother with them? Exactly. And there's gonna be haters for every single thing you do. They're so still like, watching your videos. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> like, but I, I kind of enjoy the haters, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Because I get a laugh out of it every once in a while, because sometimes they'll write like paragraphs, and I'm like reading wow. this paragraph like, like chuckling. On your hands, right? So <laughs> my mom reads all the comments. My mom love scrolls it. through like every video. Every I day. love mom! And she, she'll she call me from her room and I'll be in my room. She's like, Christina, come here! And I think it's all important. She's like, look at this fan. Look what they wrote. It's so sweet of them. <laughs> That's Aww. my mom. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> right yeah. over here, mom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh what? I want to. Mom this wants to oh right hear about some special fans. Yeah. Um, these aren't your normal fans. Um, I was checking my messages the other day. I try to get back to as much people as I can. And I love everything about the military and the Navy and everything because I just love those people. <laughs> and I got this message and they're like, hi, um, I'm in the Marines and and a lot of my buddies, you know, we crowd around our, my laptop every night and just watch your videos and we were wondering how we buy your stuff. And, Wow. I was like, that's so cool. And then they even like signed off with some like fancy marine thing. I was like, that's Private so cool. Private sergeant. Wow. Yeah, yeah, like something corp of something. And I was like, that's so cool. That, like, that like so made my neat. life. Whoa. I was like, people that fight for America are watching my, my videos. Like, that made my life. So I responded. Wow. And I was like, it's just well, hopefully oh you'll be touring over there, right? Yeah, you can do like a USO tour. I would okay. love to. I love uh, even my style is like influenced a little bit, like with the military. military. Like I love the boots and then the jacket and the. I love. And you got the blue, stuff. the red, white, and blue. You could add oh, some yeah. red and white in the hair, girl. Oh, I know, set. right? Do it. I wait till I'm old enough to white. But. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank this you was for really fun. Me. Thank you so much. And make sure you guys stay posted because we've got a lot more questions that this girl is going to answer. Christina Grimmie, everyone on YouTube, check her out. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.